Looking for a good bargain this holidays? Let's dive in and take a look at some of the best deals for creative people like you and me this holiday season. Let's do it. Hey, welcome back guys. It's that time of the year when things are going on sale. If you're looking for a bargain to kind of take your business, take your creativity to that next level, it's the time to do it. I'm gonna dive in, take a look at some of the best deals online right now in stores as well. So if that sounds good to you, man, let's take a look at some of the best deals for us creative people right now. Let's do it. So to start off with like the Wacom Intuos Creative Pro tablets are some of the best tablets, um, drawing tablets on the market, right? I've got two tablets here. I've got the medium and the large. I personally like the medium size at the moment, there's a $50 discount on the medium and a $100 discount on the large. And these are really cool um, because not only can you use USB, but it also has Bluetooth. So if you want to go full wireless, you can use Bluetooth. I personally like to have it connected via USB. That way I don't lose power, number one. And I feel like it works a little bit faster. There's less of a lag when you use USB over Bluetooth. I generally like the medium size just because it's a good size in my opinion the reason why i suggest you get the pro over the regular um wacom tablets is because they have these extra customizable buttons on the side that allows you to take your photoshop to that next level so you can set these keys to pretty much whatever you like right and it also has a dial so like you can use this to change the brush size intensity of your brushes and so many things you can adjust the settings to the way you edit your your photos your video so it's a super handy device to have so next if you're a photo shooter you're going to want to check this out right and if you're a canon shooter you want to double check this out so we have the 5ds and the 5dsr dslr cameras from canon they're both super amazing photo cameras, right? They're both 50.6 megapixels DSLR cameras, CMOS sensors, right? They're, they're, they're made, they're made to take photos, right? These, these two cameras are literally made for photographers, right? That, but they also have some, but you can also shoot video on them is what I'm trying to say, but they're made for photos, right? Both of them are discounted by $2,400, literally $2,400. If you're a photo shooter, if all you do is photos, I would suggest getting the 5DS over the 5D Mark IVs, um, just because the image quality on these, you get that extra megapixel, you can zoom in, it's, it's, it's so much better, in my opinion, right? If all you do is photos. If you're a photo and a video person, you get the 5D Mark IV. If all you do is photos, the 5DS. I feel like Canon are moving away from the EF lenses and going into their new mirror systems. So this might show the intention of Canon, right? Canon might be trying to get rid of a lot of the EF cameras and move to the RF line. So if you've already got the EF lenses and you're planning to stay with the DSLRs for a while, this could be a really good option for all the photographers out there that's already shooting with high quality EF glass. So I've just given you two amazing cameras for photos right let's dive in and take a look at a camera that's amazing for video so panasonic lumix dc gh5 this is an amazing camera for video a lot of professional youtubers have this camera for their youtube right for their youtube channels and most of the time they have multiple of these cameras so right now you're saving 700 dollars on the gh5 this is an amazing deal so the gh5 right issues 4k video up to 60 frames per second 10 bit that's pretty cool it also shoots up to 180 frames per second in full hd so you can get some really cool slow motion in full hd but i feel like if you're just doing youtube videos this is a, amazing this is an amazing camera right for anyone that wants to get into youtube at twelve nine at twelve ninety seven, it's a good it's a really good price. So with this camera, you're you're not going to have the same sort of um, AF, so the same sort of autofocus 
or the same sort of like background blur that you'll get from like a Sony a7s or the Canon EOS R's um, but for the price the, and the quality that this camera can do I am surprised that you know not more people use it right this is an amazing option for anyone who wants to dive into making videos right 1297 for the body only um, it's a good option there are a ton of lenses out there anywhere from like a couple hundred to a thousand so if you dive into the system I feel like it's a super great option for anyone that wants to get into making videos so first I gave you a photo camera then I gave you a video camera now let's dive in and take a look at an action camera so the GoPro Hero 8 at Costco is going for 18999 right this is the action bundle so you also get a spare battery a 32 gig memory card a handle and a case so this is in my opinion a really good deal if you don't need the GoPro Hero 9 and some of the extra stuff that comes with the 9 so if you're happy with an 8 it's a pretty damn good deal but if you want the 9 GoPro right now has $200 savings right on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. It comes with the floating hand grip. So this is the same floaty hand grip that comes in the Costco bundle. You also get the, the magnetic swivel clip, a spare battery, a 32 gig SD card and a camera case, right? So this is a little bit more expensive. It's coming in at $349.98 with a one year subscription to GoPro, but you're getting the latest camera from GoPro. This, this camera has the front facing screen where if you're vlogging, you can see yourself where the Hero 8 doesn't have it. It just has a black and white screen that shows you kind of the information, right? But at $60 more, you gotta ask yourself, do you need this front screen? The image quality from the set 8 to the 9 from what I've seen is a little bit better. The stabilization is a little bit better. So everything is a little bit better, right? So if you're a Costco member, you have the option to save a little bit more money. You have the option to save $60 and get the 8. Or if you want the latest, the GoPro Hero 9 bundle is literally $200 in savings right now and it's a really good offer in my opinion. So once you get all these equipment and you start going out and creating all this amazing content, you need somewhere to store it and I've got you guys covered. At Costco right now, the 8TB Seagate Backup Plus is selling for $120. This is definitely the cheapest I've seen for an 8 terabyte backup hard drive. If you're creating a ton of content, you're gonna need somewhere to store it, right? And an 8 terabyte hard drive should keep you going for a little while. In my opinion, it's not the fastest drive, it's a little bit slow. So this is more of that backup drive. Once you're done editing, once you're done doing your stuff, put it on this drive, keep it as a backup. I've got about four or five of these and these work amazing for just backing stuff up. The first drive I showed you was for backing up, right? The next two drives I'm going to show you is for working on. Let's take a look. So this first drive that I want to show you is from SanDisk. It's an extreme one terabyte external USB type C portable solid state drive. And right now at Best Buy's, you're saving $100 and it's coming in at $140, right? This drive here is a drive that I would recommend you get if you're doing a lot of traveling, right? And the main reason why is because it's dustproof, waterproof, and it's actually x-ray and shock resistance. So if you're keeping it in your bag, if you're going through customs and you're getting x-ray, you're a little bit worried about, you know, the, the, the data getting corrupted from the x-ray or, you know, you're slinging that bag around and you're moving things um, this is the drive you want to get. It's going to keep your information a lot safer. It also comes with a five, five year warranty. So, um, it's a little bit more secure than the others. It's not as fast as the next drive that I'm going to show you, but this is a drive when you're traveling, you want something to work on that's reliable, that's safe. That's going to keep your images safe. This is the one that I recommend. The next drive I'm going to recommend is a Samsung T7 one terabyte external USB 2.3 Gen 2 portable solid state drive with hardware encryption, right? So this drive at the moment at Best Buy's, you're saving $40 and it's coming in at $160. So it's a little bit more expensive than the other drive, 
but this is in my opinion the faster drive right this is the drive you're gonna want if you're planning to work off right if you if you're gonna do some video editing and you want to work and you need a drive to work on and you need a drive to kind of um, you know do some light work or even like I've edited videos off this drive so it's definitely something that's possible this is the drive that I recommend it's super small and compact it's um it comes in a one terabyte so they're both one terabyte drives right but in my opinion if you want something if you're traveling and you need something a little bit more rugged and heavy duty the SanDisk if you want to drive that's a little bit faster something that you're gonna work off on a constant basis then the Samsung they're both amazing drives you can't go wrong both have discounts right now at Best Buy's the next item I want to show you right, is something that I've owned myself is the Low Pro Pro Tactic backpack um, this is my favorite backpack of all times I've had a ton of backpacks and this is the one that I use all the time right right now at B&H it is going for $169 so this is the backpack that I truly truly recommend to people this is the one that I own myself I love this backpack um, this is the best backpack that I've ever owned and the reason why I like it you can customize the front to hold as much or as little gear as you want right I've had a tripod a monopod and a slider connected to the front of it and it's held it up really really good and on the inside is modular so you can move things around the way you need it and it comes with a back strap like this strap that goes around there you can take that off if you don't want it and just have it as a backpack but I like to keep it on when I'm when my backpack is super heavy because it, it will release the stress so right now at B&H it's actually showing that it's 169 it doesn't actually say it's on sale or anything but I do know it's on sale because when you go to the low pro website the actual recommended price is $190 guys so you're saving $120 on this backpack this is honestly a really good backpack if you're looking for a high quality photo video backpack I would highly 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 recommend that you get this backpack guys um, not only is this um, a backpack that I personally use myself it's one of the best backpacks that I've ever ever used and I'm honestly saying this right I'm honestly saying this to you guys this is one of the best backpacks I've ever used coming in at 169 it's an amazing amazing deal guys so if you need a camera backpack jump on it okay 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 so you got the camera now you need some memory cards for the camera guys so let's dive in and take a look at two memory cards that I would highly recommend that you guys get first memory card that I want to recommend um, is the SanDisk Extreme Pro 120 gigabyte SD card? It, it says 170 megabytes, but it actually has a up to 90 megabytes a second write speed. So it's up to 90 megabytes a second write speed. Um, it's a really good card. I've shot 4K video on this card. Right now, it's on sale at Best Buy's for forty dollars. I feel like this is a really good option for the 128 gigabytes. So if you need some memory cards for your action camera, B&H has you covered. This is the Sandus Extreme 128 gigabyte cards. Um, these cards are great for 4K video. You can chuck these in your DJI products, your your GoPro products, your any pretty much any action cam. These these cards are really good for, and. In my opinion, you can also use these in your DSLRs, right? So if you have an SD card, you can actually put it into the adapter and, and use it as an SD card. I don't know how reliable or if you're losing any speed if you're doing that. I haven't really tested it, but if you're just doing photos, I feel like it's a great option for that. But if you're doing videos and you got an action camera, this is the highly recommended card that I would suggest you get for your GoPros and all your action cameras. So the last item I'm going to recommend in this video is something that all of us creative people need. There's a few other options out on the market right now but this is kind of my go-to product. It is the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, right now, right now guys, you can pick it up for $40 a month down from $53 a month. This is a really good price. You're getting all the professional software that professional creative people use 
right? You're getting Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, you get Premiere for editing videos, you get InDesign for all your print stuff, you get Illustrator for creating amazing vector artwork, you get Adobe Acrobat Pro if you need to make PDFs. So you're getting pretty much everything, right? Don't, I forgot to mention, you also get Dreamweaver, um, which is for making websites. So you get all this amazing pro software that professionals use on a daily basis for $40 a month. Think about that, right? This, this software, if you're a professional and you're making money from it, for $40 a month, that is insane, right? And on top of that, right? On top of all that amazing software that you get for $40 a month, they also include 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. Um, you also get access to a Adobe portfolio. So if you need a portfolio, if you don't have money for your own website well, quite yet, you can actually build a put your own portfolio on Adobe Portfolio. And you get access to fonts and Adobe Sparks. I mean, this is all the software that you get. $40 a month, it's an amazing deal. So that's it for now guys. If you guys enjoyed this one and if you guys enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comments below guys and I'll try to make more content like this. Maybe I'll do like a monthly deal video if you guys really enjoy it. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video and sticking it all the way to the end. If you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hopefully, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.